Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any uh, questions whatsoever you would like to contact me please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box so please do check it out and if you do wish to contact me it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. Um, that being said, I would like to take a brief moment to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for being there and listening and sharing. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Um, I would also like to thank um, all of these subscribers who have uh, generously donated to the channel. I do thank you. Much gratitude. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. This is a special reading because um, this is a reading that involves your guardian angels and saints. So let's start this off. First message coming through is a message about prey. This is about your guardian angel. I have stress management, I have sweetness, and I have triumphant. And all four messages are coming from your guardian angel. So let's start this off with prey. Now, the answer to your question, whatever it is right now, is involving a prayer. Now, you're being guided to pray about this situation in order to elicit answers and a certain assistance because your guardian angels they are going to pray with you this is about asking for divine intervention to help you and your loved ones your life purpose it involves prayer as well your entities they're strong they're powerful and the world needs them your guardian angel is asking you to amplify the volume and the rate of your supplications for this situation. Prayer is extremely effective, so by engaging in this practice, you're going to be making a tremendous contribution. So this is about taking the time right now to just stop, to pray, but to pray from your heart. The words that you use, they're not important, not whatsoever, compared to your sincere desire to connect with the divine. You need to be open to a response that could be appearing that could be different from your expectations also. And you need to know that your prayers, they are heard and they are answered. Moving on forward over here to a little bit of um, stress management. Now your angels, they're working with you to reduce the impact of stress upon uh, in your life right now. You need to pay close attention to your divine guidance, such as thoughts or feelings about taking a rest, about exercising, about changing your routine, and about avoiding conflict. You need to both reduce stress in your life and you need to manage the way that it's affecting you, that it's affecting you um, emotionally, that it's affecting you physically. And to lessen this burden, you're going to need to be assertive with people and you're going to need to say no to unwanted requests. Don't do anything out of guilt. Don't do anything out of obligation, please. And only engage in activities that you can perform out of loving service. Avoid harsh environments, violent media, any negative relationships, and face any situations that are worrying you, but head on. It's better to make plans for dealing with the problems, okay, rather than to to deal with chronic worry that you know that chronic worry that just sticks around with you and sometimes we have that chronic worry and we just kind of continue avoiding over and over again now managing stress involves taking excellent care of yourself and this means exercising it means getting outside in nature it means consuming only you know more healthy foods and beverages and your angel guides 
wants to surround you, wants you to be surrounded by uplifting music and people and loving relationships, which can definitely include your pets. So give any care or needs to your guardian angels and ask them to help you to receive that divine wisdom, but in dealing with any stressful matters. Your angels are also going to help you to see the love and see the light within each situation so that your thoughts, well, so that your thoughts are quite peaceful. So that is all about that managing stress. It's about relieving that. It's about coming back to a healthier, um, for a healthier, how could I say, um, a healthier life. Let's move on over to sweetness. Now your guardian angel is asking you to notice and to enjoy the nectar of life. You are sweet. And your guardian angels, they say that of you. And this is about helping you feel that happiness, helping you feel that joy. And if you fell toughened by life experiences, your angel can help you lower your defenses, can help you to be safe, can help you to feel protected, can help you to feel respected. Now this is also a message for you to treat yourself with tender sweetness, to give yourself rewards and to be kind to yourself. Maybe you're pushing a little bit too hard with your all work, no play approach to life. Be a sweetheart to yourself. Take some leisure time to play, to enjoy the fruits of your labor because your guardian angel is also going to help you, um, is also going to help you to bring that sweetness into your life, into your relationships, in ways such as speaking with love, acting out of kindness, being generous and giving and sincere compliments and being thoughtful. And as you show this little extra consideration for others, it is sure to be returned to you plentiful. God and the angels, they're helping you fall back in love with life and to enjoy its rich sweetness. And we're going to conclude over here with triumphant and this is also a guardian angel message. This is about how you're going to be triumphant and how your desires are going to manifest. Any obstacles that you've been experiencing, they are quite temporary. Your guardian angels are going to take care of the details to remove them from your path. Don't worry about the appearance of challenges because they are just an illusion that are soon going to disappear. And if you worry excessively about these issues, you're going to fuel them with power and with energy. You need to see them instead as wispy clouds that can't really block you. And this is an especially important time for you to stay in steady contact with God and your angels. Sometimes when we're under stress, we forget to pray. We forget to ask for heaven's help. Yet these are the times when it is best for you to enlist into that assistance of our creator of our celestial guides it's your angels great pleasure to help you navigate along a smooth path they know that you are going to grow faster in a peaceful setting just as a plant grows stronger with all those optimal nutrients so your life is becoming more stable with a quieter form of excitement the drama of obstacles is now going to be a thing of the past and this, my dear friends, does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that um, your guardian angels uh, did provide you with some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you would like to contact me, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings.